Well, hello there, Leos, and happy Motivational Monday to each and every one of you all. You may be watching this video on Sunday. Leos, hopefully you all are having a great weekend. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Uh, so this reading is for the 18th of August. I'm sorry, 18th of September through the 18th of October. 18, one and nine, I mean, one and eight is nine, right? So nine is the number of trans for transformation. So this is where you're going to have to leave some things behind in order to step into the life that you're manifesting. So hopefully in this waxing crescent moon phase, you are not only getting your rest, but really seriously thinking about the seeds that you want to plant to manifest. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Here we have the three of swords. Here we have the eight of swords. We also have the um, dame of pentacles, the six of swords, the madre tierra, the temperance card. So here we have madre tierra and the temperance card. Somebody definitely has a guardian angel helping you to see things from a higher frequency, telling you to close out cycles, but close them out in love, right? Move on from something, right? Um, get real serious about your purpose. Like this, this, tar this card right here is attached to Saturn. Saturn is currently retrograde. We have a lot of planets that are retrograde, right? Retrograde is actually a really good thing. So Saturn is, um, Saturn is that planet when you think about rules, traditions, um, serious, it's the planet of maturity and authority, right? It's the planet of when you think about uh, Saturn, you want to think about concentrating on what is your purpose? What's your, your mission here on earth? It's the planet of limits, structure and order, formalities, tradition, creating rules and authority for your, you know, for your universe, meaning yourself, right? Your universe, meaning yourself, right? And not overthink like the, you know, here we have the six of swords, three of swords and eight of swords. See how this person is tied up? Like this person, they don't, they can't see the number eight is a number for your, that's a money exchange number. Somebody can't really see the value in um, your, your God giving gifts and talents and how you can create an infinite amount of resources with that. Like get a clear vision for how you see your life and how you can benefit mankind, including loved ones who have disappointed you. you you're actually benefiting them. You got to see the bigger picture though. Like, mm, think about it this way. Like, let's say, and then we also have the Dame of Pentacles. I see somebody feeling very, very happy now that you're getting laser focused, right? You know how like when people start, like they start a business and they, they want, they like, oh, I can't wait. I'm going to start this business. And I know my family's going to show up and show out. They're going to be the ones that's going to be wrapped around the corner. <laughs> They're going to be the ones that really show up, right? You start a business and your family's like crickets. All of a sudden they stay, they had this, uh, they had this other person that they've been patronizing for years. And even though you all are related, they're going to still patronize the other person. They get in there, you know, they, um, they had something to do on that day. They, they don't respond to the text message until days later. Oh my God, I'm just now seeing your text message, right? They answer everybody else's text message, but they didn't see yours, right? You know, all, every excuse under the sun for why they couldn't, um, why they couldn't support you. Source is saying, see it from a higher frequency because what, uh, let's, let's just use you're creating some, you you have some, some kind of a business or whatever eventually they're going to see how, and it's not like you're waiting for around for them to see, but eventually they're going to see how your, um, your confidence as a fire sign, your motivation, your power, your charisma, your strong will, your motivation, your leadership, your mental clarity for your purpose is actually helping mankind. So I don't know, like, have anybody grown up in a place where there's like a mom and pop store, you know, or like the mom and pop store, like a family owned it, like a bodega or like just a mom and pop store, wherever you lived or whatever. And you, that's just a part of your childhood. People come in and out, talk to, or let's say you help own a hair salon or whatever. Even if your family is not supporting it, you're, those people are still coming in there and they're dropping off nuggets of, you know, that wisdom, right? So source or you, you open up whatever kind of business you have and the impact that you're making on the community and the world at large, your family may disappoint you, but source is saying the, the more and more you sail away from the depth of that disappointment and stop overthinking it and get to work, put some, put some action behind this fire. You mad, you should be fired up, mad. You know what? This, this, this business that I have is going to be amazing. I'm going to make myself proud. 
of the business that I'm putting together. So that's what Source is trying to do. If there's kids involved, I'm going to make my kids proud, you know, of the the impact that I'm making on the community and the world at large. So Source is saying to somebody, get focused. Get focused on your legacy. What what the what is the reason why you're here on earth? Get serious about it. And again, Saturn was that first card that came out, Madre Tierra, and then also um, the Temperance card, which is attached to Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruling planet is currently retrograde Jupiter. That's the planet of growth and opportunity. This is your opportunity for growth, inner growth. You disappointed about something concerning a loved one. This is your opportunity to go in and grow. So I'm not mad because my, my family did not, you know, they weren't wrapped around a building and coming in support of my grand opening. Instead, I'm using, I'm going even harder. That's all right. You didn't have this. It's cool that you saw the text message three days after I sent, I sent it out six months ago. You just saw it three days after the grand opening. Okay. Not a problem. Not holding a grudge. No, nothing. I just need to focus my attention on the, my people, the people that are supporting me, not the people who are giving me excuses. Here we have the justice card. Um, so here we have the tower card. Here we have the nine of, um, the nine of wands, we have the queen of swords, the knight of wands, and also the three of pentacles, right? So justice card, I'm a warrior for my own peace. That's what source is trying to tell you. Look at it from a higher frequency. If you're saying, hey, I started a business and I just expect it, and I'm just using that as an example, right? You can use any, you can, whatever is an example, you're disappointed in loved ones, right? I'm a warrior for peace. I'm not putting this disappointment in loved ones on my scales. That would just, that would throw everything out of alignment. That'll throw everything out of alignment. Loved one can be anybody you allow to get that close to your heart. I see you having a tower moment. A tower moment is just an awakening. Let me get refocused. This is attached to Mars, right? Mars is the planet of assertion and action, but it's also the planet of competition, survival, strength, capacity for action, courage and being daring, anger, sexual drive, fighting spirit, energy, vitality, conflict. Source is saying, get it together. Focus on your purpose. The reason why you're here before this tower card even came out, I already knew it was going, I knew it was going to come out because when I look at your cards and I'm seeing all of this disappointment as far as loved ones is concerned, source is saying, sit on your throne and put any negative thoughts behind lock and key, right? Protect your emotions. If it's something that like when you think when I get emotionally drained, if I reach down here, source is like, is that something that, is that something that you want in your universe? Like put your emotions behind Protect your emotions of a situation. I see somebody at the end of a long and arduous journey of burnout, frustration, you know, all of that thing. But Source wants you to see things at a higher frequency. Something is definitely closed out. And, um, and again, this is not about winning or losing. You know, you're winning your inner battles, right, of... But I, I see nine of wands and also the knight of wands. Stay away from any negative burnout conversation about this. What lesson did you learn on that journey? What lesson did you learn on that journey of just getting something off of your scales? Everything is perfectly aligned when it comes to your money. That's why I see somebody being very happy because I do see, I do see um, just some frustration here when I look at your cards. I see, I see just frustration you know, and some that could cause somebody to be just, just angry, hot, and mad, you know, but also you got to make sure there's no ego in all of this because that tower can fall either way. That's what you got to be real careful about. No ego in this because the tower can fall either way. So be very careful, very, very, very careful with that. Um, Let's see what else we have here. We're going to go ahead and close this out. Let's see what we have here so we can close it out. Um, do, 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 do. All right. These are the cards I'm looking for. So you know how like people prematurely celebrate something like, oh, good. I'm glad that such and such and such and such, right? But see, only source knows the true intention of your heart, right? So if the intention was to hurt somebody, because and you feel like in your mind, I can justify, they were trying to hurt me, so I had to hurt them back. Source is like, that's still disrupting your peace. 
Again, take it on a case by case basis. Let me just put it that way, just to, on case by case basis. Everything is lining up perfectly for you, but it's not luck though. It's not luck at all. It really is. Um, here we have the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. We also have the World card. We also have the Death card. We also have the Six of Pentacles and also the Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So the Eight of Swords about two situations in particular. This, like I said, these two scales right here. Somebody is overthinking it, overthinking it to a point is almost driving somebody crazy. And Source is saying, "Nah, -uh. come on now." You're divinely protected in your vulnerability, but watch your words as you're having it, as you're thinking about certain situations. To situ it's closed out. It, it's something is already closed out. It's already done. It's already done. And so you're having a tower moment in that tower moment is source is saying, this is the death card right here. Also attached to uh, Scorpio. We're not talking about any Scorpios that you know, Scorpio's ruling planet. Um, Mars is one of Scorpio's ruling planets. And Pluto is the other one. Right now, Source really wants you to focus on breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. Some kind of an approval for increases coming across your path. The, the increase could come from your business. Let's just, again, use the family situation. The family didn't support. Guess what? All of a sudden, your clientele just goes through the roof. Now, all of a sudden, people are just like, and guess what? Those same family members that somehow read the text message late, didn't see it. Had, you know, want to patronize somebody else's business or whatever. I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody also family members is not patronizing your church. Like somebody started a church. I'm not sure who started a church, but somebody started a church. Family members didn't, they want to support somebody else. Didn't want to support you. It's okay. Your membership is still increasing. Something about your money, some kind of an approval for new money is coming across your path, raise or whatever at work. So it could be, a, so when you release something off of your scales like the depth of disappointment the overthinking it to a point you got to be careful with overthinking as a fire sign because it can really that if fire can come out like a blowtorch and it can actually mess up things right so source is saying your reputation is still intact again you're using that fire very wisely to close out cycles we close them out in love all right let us close it out Yep, let us close it out. So the depth of disappointment is like source is saying, let go and let source from the inside, right? Inner child. This is the energy that needs nurturing right now. Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to his deepest needs and feelings. To that little one's feelings. So yeah, something is definitely over. Something is over. Somebody is at... Um, so it's a time for healing, definitely a time for healing your own inner child. That inner child has been neglected for far too long. It's time for you to focus on them and, um, and cause somebody has definitely been cutting their money in half, like definitely been cutting the money in half and, um, Phoenix. 31, summon your flesh rises from the ashes into the expansive flame of your soul. Yep, the expansive flame of your soul. All right. All righty, all righty, all righty. 23, I'm adventurous. You have a zest for life and you're eager to experience anything and everything possible and you love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive, Leo. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. So moving forward, this is where you're letting that inner child come out and play and do all the things that you neglected. You know, when you were focusing on loved ones and anger and frustration and disappointment, like using all of this power and intellect that you have um, when you were on a different frequency, but now you're back on your throne and you can carefully vet those thoughts and make sure moving forward, I won't allow those things to mess up my money in the future. By getting me that angry and frustrated, I can move on from something. Last card and let's close it out. Awareness. I am whole. I am present. I am where I need to be. I am focused. I am living in the present moment. 
I'm grateful for this life. I release all mental clutter. Mental blocks are being cleared. Yep. That is what I have for you. And I will see you all on Midweek Wednesday. Have a amazing, an amazing week, Leos. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.